No, Australia's good. I was shitting on Australia. Australia might be number two. That's a good country, dude. Just a whole country doing nothing. That's what I like about them. They're just down there. Zero exports. Creating nothing, dude. They're doing, the only export I've seen come out of Australia is just that YouTube video of that guy punching that kangaroo in the face. Yeah. You know that video, that kangaroo holding that dog hostage out in the woods. Owner shows up, squares up with the kangaroo. <laughs> no hesitation. Kangaroo knew it was a fight, too. <laughs> Guy just fucking... <clears throat> if you've seen the video, you know how good that impression is. <laughs> yes. Australia gave us that. Australia also gave us love on the spectrum. Love on the Spectrum. Thank you, Australia. Incredible show. Truly, an incre actually an incredible show. How did this show get made? That's an insane show. The only Australia could have come up with this. Only Australians would be like, all right. You know how autistic people are extremely uncomfortable in social settings? Let's stick a camera in these fucking retards' face and watch the time. No, dude. Don't do that. We're all gonna watch it, but don't do that. <laughs> Look at him trying to fuck. <laughs> now, Australia ruled. I only, I only had one negative experience while I was there, and it was, uh, I, got, I got bullied. I got made fun of publicly by a goth. They still have goths, dude. Full on, black trench coat, black eyeliner. And he made fun of me. I'll give him credit. In his defense, the reason he was making fun of me is because I was wearing a bucket hat. <laughs> I had never done that before. There were no black people on the island. I was taking fashion chances the whole time. <laughs> That's the thing about these countries. I was just in England, Scotland, Ireland, Australia. No black people. And I know what you're thinking. No. <laughs> no, you need black people. You need black people to keep the whites in check. The last thing you want is a whole island of whites that think they're the coolest people on earth. It's a disaster. That's how you end up with Conor McGregor's walking around like, ah, -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba It's like, shut up, dude. The foreign whites are out of control. <laughs> American whites, we're humble. We know we're not the coolest guys around. It's the foreign whites, dude. Is there, yeah, yes! Preach, brother! <laughs> For real though, there's a reason every good NBA player that's white is from another country. <laughs> the audacity to think you could play in that league, dude. <laughs> the fucking arrogance. Every white dude in America saw a black kid dunk in like eighth grade and was just like, oh, all right. <laughs> there goes that dream. I'll just set picks for the next four years. <laughs> just box out hard as hell. White people used to be cool in America. <laughs> Long time ago, dude. The height, the height of white people being cool was us going, we're like, man. That was as cool as we got. We're like, man, see, ha ha, man. And then the day white people stopped being cool, it was Jackie Robinson's first game. <laughs> you can look it up, dude. You can find it. You can find the radio call from that game online. You can hear the exact moment white people stop being cool. You can hear the announcers, they still got, they're like, man. Welcome to Chicago, where the White Sox take on the Brooklyn Dodgers. And we all had cool white nicknames. Like, up at the mound is old Curly. He's a 47-year-old alcoholic. He's the greatest athlete alive. Runs a six-second, 40-yard dash. Fastest man alive, they say. Then it happened, dude. And Jackie came up to the plate. You can hear the announcers like, meh. <laughs> Coming up to the plate is young Codboy from Brooklyn. No way he can hit Curly's pitch. Here comes the pitch. Fuck, home run. All right. <laughs> that was it, dude. Jackie hit the ball so hard he knocked that voice out of all the whites. Not one of us has talked like that since. Dude, one swing of the bat. We're like, meh. <clears throat> all right, yeah, that was pretty good. That was good. 
good. It's time for us to focus on computers. <laughs> Anyway, I was in Australia. I was in a bucket hat. I was already self-conscious about the bucket hat. Tried it on in the hotel. Just looked like fucking John Candy. <laughs> I was with my friend, he's a good friend. I was like, I look like a fucking dumbass, right? He was like, nah, dude, you look cool. Also, who cares? No one's gonna give a fuck. I was like, all right, fine. As soon as we got outside of the hotel, somebody gave a fuck. I got made fun of immediately. It was the goth. The goth. Dude. I didn't even see him coming, dude. He came out of the shadows like they do. <laughs> this fucking guy, I was standing talking to my friend. He was walking behind us on the sidewalk. He walked behind me, took my hat off my head, put it back down and patted me on the head. I turned around smiling at him because I thought only a friend could have done this. I was like, Dude, this guy kept walking. He didn't even break stride. He goes, nice hat, fatso. <laughs> Just destroyed me for no, I had no comeback. I was just like, yeah, right. <laughs> I was like that fucking kangaroo. <laughs> what was that about? That was six months ago. I've thought about that guy every day. <laughs> every day. I hate him. I hate everything. I hate that he's a goth from Australia. It's like, you can't be that. You can't be a goth from Australia. You sound funny. You can't be... You know what I mean? That guy can't go around like, all day I think about death. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, shut up, dude. I'm actually very dark and twisted. <laughs> no, you're not. You're Australian, you sound funny. Australian accent's one of those accents that's funny every single time. You could be in the middle of a fucking tragedy if you heard an Australian accent, you'd still be like. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, like, if there was, like, an Australian guy in the office on 9-11, I was, was like, oh, fuck, look out! <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, no, there's another one, get down! Ah, oh, fuck, it's hot up here. Gonna have to jump out. <laughs> no! <laughs> huh? All right. Yeah. Oh, 9 11 joke. That's an applause break. Bravo! <laughs> All right. I'll tell you this, on a more serious note, this is something I'm dealing with in my life. I just, I recently found out that the girl I'm dating, her ex is a Navy SEAL. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks dick, dude. That's the worst ex of all time. I never even thought it. You want to feel insecure as a man? That's the worst. I never, never even thought of that one as like, that could happen to me. I spent my whole life thinking, black guy, worst case on this. <laughs> and by the way, I mean that with all due respect to the black community, dude. For real, I wish people feared my dick like that. I, w I wish my dick struck fear into entire races. Nobody fears my dick, dude. Nobody fears my dick. Other than like women in parking garages, they... <laughs> you get me in a parking garage all of a sudden, my dick's top of the food chain. See me lurking behind a pillar in there. Just... with a GameStop bag. <laughs> nah, dude, Navy SEAL. It's a tough one. I do this thing, it's not a good thing, but whenever, whenever I'm dating a girl, I always talk shit on her exes. It's not a good look, women don't respect it. it kinda makes me look like a bitch. I like it. I <laughs> I can't stop doing it. And normally it's easy. Normally it's like, what's your ex do? He's a fucking substitute teacher. It's weird he wants to hang out with kids. It's like, that bad. You know what I mean?
Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups Our planet's drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill, a mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our act, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand but like, This one's tough This is a tough ex to make fun of Just when I'm walking around the apartment all day Just pff, fucking Navy SEALs They're kind of pussies if you really think about it you know what I mean? Like using night vision, sneaking up on guys. That's a fucking coward's way to fight, dude.